So the next is blazing fast performance. So we made some enhancements with regards to performance. One is a column store index. A second one is really tailored towards file stream and having multiple containers affiliated with our file stream data. And Michael Reese, one of our program managers, will talk further about Beyond Relational. Perhaps we'll get into some of the file stream stuff in, in later slides. What I'll focus on right now is our column store index. So the goal here is to accelerate queries specifically with data warehousing. As I mentioned, there, there's a large, um, there is a large explosion of data occurring, big data problems are occurring, and one of the challenges that we experience with so much data, individuals would want to obtain pervasive insight. And some of the challenges they experienced was that they would fire a query to obtain some kind of specific data from their organization, and with so much data, by the time the query returned, they either forgot what the question was, what they were trying to solve, or the second item would be they lost that business opportunity. So the goal here was what can we do to accelerate queries specifically around data warehouses? So we introduced a new column store index directly in the database engine. So a lot of people felt that it's not possible, it was not something we can achieve, but we put a new column store database, um, sorry, column store index directly within the database engine. Therefore, it's straightforward to use within a few clicks. You have a wizard, you're up and running with the column store on a specific database. The goal here is with the new column store index, you're accelerating queries by 10 to 100 times and in this one specific test in our labs, we had acceleration of over 400% on a specific um, data warehouse solution. So again, I look at this as a second major um, investment from a DBA's perspective in order to accelerate queries within your data warehouse workloads. Without going into um, under the hood too much, we do have a dedicated session on this throughout the day, so I definitely recommend looking at that. But in terms of what we're doing here, as opposed to storing data across rows, we're storing data in a column-based fashion. In addition to that, we have an, we've made some enhancements with regards to our advanced processing, and we've also leveraged the technology in VertiPack, which is our compression technology with SQL Server 2008 R2 analysis services and PowerPivot, and use that technology or compression directly in the database engine. So we're getting compression ratios which are far more superior than what we saw in the past. By storing data in a column fashion as opposed to a row fashion, you're putting a lot more, the data is more similar, therefore getting a better compression ratio. In addition to that, by only fetching columns that you require as opposed to scanning the whole row, you're seeing performance accelerated, as I indicated, by 10 times, 100 times, based upon that specific workload. So I definitely recommend going to the session, understanding more about column store indexing, and it's definitely a great way to um, enhance your performance on data warehouse workloads and queries. We've made some enhancements around the security perspective, better separation of duties, expanded audit capabilities. I did want to call out this slide because I think Microsoft's very proud of it. If you look at SQL Server and, and known vulnerabilities, we're right now leading the database industry with the least amount of vulnerabilities recorded um, in the environments compared to other, other competitors. So that's something we're definitely proud of and I want to call it out by having this fancy slide and, and graph to showcase. With regard to some of the items that we did enhance within the security perspective is powerful encryption technology. So we've had TD encryption, we continue to deliver TD encryption where you encrypt your data at rest. We can interact directly with Active Directory and certificate authority or certificate services with AD and encrypt data in transit through, through a PKI infrastructure. We have the ability to interact directly with our system center products and have tighter compliance. So many times I'll build out compliance solutions for our customers who are regulated or Fortune 500 companies that are regulated by some form of compliance like HIPAA or um, PCI. And we do solutions where we, in, we take advantage of audit capabilities within SQL. Let's say for instance, we need to record invalid login attempts. What we'll do is we'll have any invalid login attempt, we'll utilize the audit specification or the database audit specification in a solution and then um, write these invalid login attempts directly to a Windows security log. And then we leverage our operations manager solution and we groom those security logs into a centralized database, integrate that with our email and alerting and send out emails to our DBAs, God forbid a breach has taken place. So as you can see, you can achieve compliance end to end with the different technologies and build robust solutions. We've also introduced other features to control access. So we've now created new user-defined server roles as opposed to just database-defined um, server roles. So this allows for better separation of duties. We have default schema for groups. In the past, we cannot 
assign a default schema to a, a group. Therefore, we had to do it based upon a user, which made things very challenging from an administrative perspective. We, now have a, we also have now a new contained database authentication. So as opposed to storing the, 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 the login in the actual database engine, we have it in, in encapsulated into the actual database itself. Therefore, when you have portability, such as always on availability groups or challenges that we had in mirroring, if you move databases from one server or one instance to another instance, you're not concerned with not having the appropriate logins coming over also will bring that for you. So definitely something you should take into consideration and try out. SQL Server auditing, again, we've enhanced the auditing. So let's say you're not using a Windows um, specific security log, you're using the, the SQL Server security log, better resilience, if, fail, if, if the log is not available, we could have retries, therefore the server won't shut down if you're in a, in a specific situation. We have the ability to have where clauses and filter out specific audits. But again, tight alignment with the different products and you can achieve end-to-end -end encryption and compliance with the different solutions in play. Finally, peace of mind. So I, other items that we've introduced is distributed replay. We have the ability to look at specific transactions and replay them from a testing perspective. System center advisor alignment. We've also included new management packs as I indicated earlier. There's other free tools that we can use to help plan your migration to SQL Server 2012. So one would be upgrade advisor. So we can take a specific database from SQL 2008, SQL 2005, analyze that code to validate will it um, be compatible with SQL Server 2012? Will there be any specific blockers which will prevent you from upgrading to the latest and greatest or migrating your database across? So I definitely recommend utilizing some of those tools. In addition to that, we have um, migration assistance. So if you are coming from a competitor platform, we can help in that migration and help you move over to SQL Server 2012. And also we have migration assessment and planning toolkit known as like the MAPS toolkit. So Right now, a very common theme would be, let me design a consolidated infrastructure or let me take advantage of a private cloud implementation. In a private cloud implementation, what I can do is I can scan my existing database infrastructure and identify all my databases, identify all my instances, and then consolidate them into a smaller footprint onto a multiple instance failover cluster into a private cloud solution so you can take advantage of the rapid provisioning, the centralized management. So definitely a lot of different tools out there for peace of mind. And one of the other things that they do call out is a great community. Not that many other organizations have a great community such as the people in the room today to help or the partners affiliated with the product.